Hello my beautiful people, TJ Isaacs here. Welcome or welcome back. So today I have a Valentine's Day look for you and it is a classic red lip and just something simple on the eyes, you know. And also I thought I'll do something different for this video. So it's a chit chat, kind of get ready with me and um, I'm answering a few questions. Just, you know, trying to make it more interesting. I know it gets a bit repetitive, just like filming um, foundation routines and um, eye looks. So I thought I would do something different and um, answer a few questions about Valentine's Day. So if you are interested in that, then make sure to stay tuned. Also hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload and give me a like, share it and also leave me a comment down below. Everything that I've used on my face today will be down in the description box. So also check that out. I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day and I hope you enjoy the video. So let's just get into it guys, shall we? Hey guys. So today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look so it's sort of like a get ready with me I'm not really going to be talking much about the products so because I thought of doing like a Valentine's Day tag questions kind of thing so if you want to know what I use on my face then just check the description box down below I would have everything listed down there so obviously I'm going to start off with my primer. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are looking forward to Valentine's Day. Even though the season that we're in now with the whole pandemic and everything like that, we can't do much. So I hope you can still get to do something nice. Um, even if it's just something little at home with your loved one. I think that would be really nice. Right, that's my primer done. Um, let's get into the Valentine's Day questions. I have them right here in front of me. So I just went on like the internet and searched for Valentine's Day tags and I found a few. So the ones I'm gonna be doing today are from loveandtreasure.com and um yes yeah, so the first question guys <laughs> are you a romantic person well yes i classify myself as being very romantic and um i do believe i am oh yeah guys i've always i've already done my eyebrows just to save time so um yeah so yes i definitely am a romantic i love like romantic movies i love all this kind of stuff I love to be pampered and, you know, I love to be treated nice. I love love songs, you know, so I definitely think I am a very big romantic. So, yeah, and even like in my relationships, I feel like I'm the one who always wants to be like, I'm the one who really gives a lot in my relationships, I think. So yeah, I think I'm very romantic. Okay, next question. Okay, question number two. What do you prefer receiving on Valentine's Day? Um, so the options are chocolate or other candies, dinner, jewelry, movie, flowers, clothing, card. Um, hmm, what do I prefer? Um, I like to receive a card, jewelry, and dinner. <laughs> So get me a nice card, take me out to dinner, and then a gift, jewellery. You can never go wrong with jewellery. Am I right, girls? So yeah, definitely those three. So yeah, in that order, I will want a card, take me out to dinner, and um, give me a nice gift, which would definitely be like jewellery. And um, yeah, I mean, you don't really have to take me out to dinner. You can cook me dinner. That's also fine. I don't mind that either. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like I've been blending this foundation for so long. I'm just trying to use up like, all the foundation on my hand so so that I don't go to waste, you know. <laughs> These foundations ain't even cheap out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Question number three. What do you usually get on Valentine's Day? 
chocolate or other candies, dinner, jewelry, movie, flowers, clothing, card or nothing. Mm, for me, like what I usually get for Valentine's Day is a card and um, perfume. So yeah, I don't really like chocolates. So yeah, they don't have perfume here, but that's what I usually get. So perfume and a card. Number four, do you prefer a handmade card or a store-bought card? Um, I don't really care. <laughs> as long as it's a nice card and I think it's the thought that counts really for me. It doesn't really matter whether it's handmade or store-bought. But um, yeah, I'm not, it's the thought that counts for me. So yeah, yeah, I don't mind that. Um, what is the best thing anybody has ever said, done or given you on Valentine's Day? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I think the best thing I've ever received on Valentine's Day is just, um, it wasn't like a gift per se, it was just being in the presence of that person do you know what i'm saying so just being together spending the whole day together that is the best thing i've ever done on valentine's day we just like spent the whole day together just doing silly things or nothing you know that has to be my best valentine's so yeah that is it Next question, how do you feel when you see what other people got on Valentine's Day? Happy for them or jealous? <laughs> um, that, that question is a bit, I don't know. I think it depends again on your situation. If you have a Valentine, I don't see the reason why you need to be jealous of what anybody else got. But then if you are not, if you don't have a Valentine, then I suppose, yeah, you definitely feel jealous, feel left out, feel lonely and just like you wish you, you had that. But if you do have a Valentine, if you do have a Valentine, then I don't see why you should feel jealous. You shouldn't really care anyway, because it's not your life. They're living their life, you live yours. Why should I be jealous? Yes, it might you, it might stir up feelings of jealousy, but I don't think you would actually be jealous because you might feel like, you know, oh, you're lonely or you want someone and all of that. But yeah, so I guess, the, <laughs> The answer to that is it depends on your situation. But for me, I wouldn't feel jealous. I'll be happy for them. Like, okay, cool, you got that. Cool, you know. All right, next question. When it comes to dessert, what flavor do you prefer? Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> um, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Oh, strawberry for me. Chocolate covered strawberries for me, definitely. <laughs> Definitely strawberry. I love anything strawberry. Um, anything like strawberry flavored, I love it. Like I would have to say that is my preferred dessert. So yeah, definitely strawberry. Definitely strawberry. When you were in school, how did you feel when you gave the kids you liked a Valentine card? Uh, they didn't specify what like, okay, they mean like high school, secondary school or um, primary school or university, college. I don't know how to answer that question, but obviously if you've given someone who you like a Valentine's card, then you definitely will be happy, excited, nervous because you don't know if they like you back or something like that. It, 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 Mm, so yeah, I think it was just, yeah, definitely happy and excited and nervous. So that's that's how I would feel if I was giving someone a card when I was in school. Um, have you ever had a love letter, card or gift rejected? No. <laughs> mm, no, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's definitely a no. No, no one's ever rejected my, you know, love letters or whatever um what was your favorite thing to do when you didn't have a boyfriend on valentine's day well uh -huh. i love to pamper myself i would take myself out i would get ready i would dress up 
even if it's not like too much, just dress up nice, you know, just feel good and smell nice, yeah. And then take myself out. So go and have brunch, lunch by myself, or I'll stay home and um, order in a takeaway and watch movies, something like that. So I just treat myself. I just make myself feel good because, you know, you gotta love yourself. You've got to, because nobody else is gonna do it for you. You've got to do it for yourself. And that's a word. <laughs> so that's all I gotta say about that. That's what I'm gonna say about that. You have to love yourself. I mean, and Valentine's Day, I don't like a lot of people put it put emphasis on it has to be like a romantic um love, but in all honesty, it can be any kind of love, you know? It can be family, friendship. To me, I don't think you have to, like, if you don't have, like, a romantic, um, if you don't have, like, a romantic Valentine, then you can just spend the day with family. Or if you're, like, a um, parent, then shower your child or your children with love do something nice with them or you know just have fun with your siblings if you have siblings have fun with your siblings um with call your mom call your dad call whoever it doesn't have to be a romantic thing for valentine's day a lot of people put that emphasis on it has to be a romantic love interest i mean yes of course sometimes it's nice of course we all want that um, romantic feeling or that loved one your significant other but if you don't have that it's not the end of the world you know you have your family you have friends that love you and they you know and you love so check up on check up on your friends call them wish them a happy valentine's day check up on your parents wish them a happy valentine's day if you've got children shower them with love if you don't have anyone love yourself shower yourself with love take yourself out buy yourself a beautiful gift you know Just feel good don't let social media or seeing other people and in couples make you feel bad about yourself you know oh couple goals no make yourself a goal you know <laughs> loving yourself should be your number one goal and that's all i'm gonna say um right <laughs> so what do you think is the best movie to watch on valentine's day <laughs> um the best movie to watch i would say obviously anything romantic um for me any kind of romantic movie like hollywood definitely bollywood bollywood there they have like the best romance films seriously i definitely will pull out a nice bollywood film to watch but if i have to choose one then <sighs> dirty dancing i love dirty dancing okay not just one let me give you a couple of my favorite like films that i would pull out on valentine's day definitely dirty dancing would be one of them then um ghost then um, um pretty woman then I would um, um, go over to Bollywood and just watch a whole bunch of Bollywood movies because they are filled with romance, romance films. So, so those are my recommendations. Definitely go dancing. You can't go wrong with Patrick Swayze. You definitely can't go wrong with a bit of Patrick Swayze. Next, what song do you immediately think of when you hear the phrase a romantic song? Ooh, a romantic song. Well, it would have to be one of my favourites, which is Glenn Lewis, Fall Again. I just love that song. Oh, so if you've watched Made in Manhattan with Jennifer Lopez, Oh, that's another good film to watch for valentine's um so yeah if you've watched that you know when she um when she comes down when she goes to like the the, the ball kind of thing the event and she's in that lovely pink gown and her hair is up in that beautiful barn oh gosh she just looks she just looked gorgeous she she just absolutely looks beautiful and um yeah and then they started singing I wanna fall in love again. 
Um, so yeah, then they started singing and it was the song. That was the song that they were playing. It's called Fall Again by Glenn Lewis. And that is my absolute favorite um, song. So when I think of romantic song, that is the song I think of. Okay, which Disney couple has the type of relationship that you'd like to have? I'm gonna skip that one because I, I really don't know. Um, next question, which Dis what's all with what's up with this Disney questions? Next, what Valentine's Day decoration do you like the most? Heart cutouts, candles, lace, heart candy, cherries, whipped cream. Um, definitely candles, heart candy, and some whipped cream. You know, some whipped cream, baby. Yes. Give me some whipped cream, some heart candies, some heart-shaped balloons, candles, beautiful candles, scented candles. Oh, yeah. So, next question. Who do you think deserves to be loved the most on Valentine's Day and why? I think you deserve to love yourself the most because it all starts with you. Like RuPaul always says, if you can't love yourself, how in the world are you gonna love somebody else? And that is so true. If you cannot love yourself, then you cannot love anybody else. You may think you do love them, but you can't if you don't love yourself. So I would say love yourself the most, the most, and you'll see it's beautiful. Love yourself the most. If you can do that, then you can love anyone. What general Valentine's Day tradition would you like to remove? I think the whole um, card giving and gift giving. I just want to intensify this blush because it's beautiful. So card giving and um, um, gift giving. I like like material things anyway. Like you shouldn't be a must that you should, you know, give someone like you know, something material to show them how much you love them or for them to show you how much they love you. So if I had to get rid of anything, then it'll probably be that. So yeah, okay. The next one is, what tradition would you like to add to Valentine's Day? Mm, I don't know. I can't think of anything. What tradition would you like to add? To Valentine's Day. Mm. So, um, what tradition would I want to add to Valentine's Day? Um, I think they should make Valentine's Day sort of like Christmas or Easter, where like it shouldn't just be for couples. I think it would be nice if it was like a, a family thing and everyone, you know, just come together, have a nice meal, and have a laugh. And I think that would be absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Okay guys, time for the eyes. Okay, next question. What is your favorite Valentine's Day treat? Candies. I love candies. So my favorite Valentine's Day treat is definitely candies. That is what I like. Sweethearts or chocolate covered strawberries? <laughs> I like both. What movie would you rather watch on Valentine's Day? Pretty Woman or You've Got Mail? Um, Definitely pretty woman. What celeb would you not mind having as your Valentine? Shao Khan. I definitely would not mind having him as my Valentine at all. Please be my Valentine, Shao Um, So for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, he's a Bollywood actor, one of the one of the biggest Bollywood actors out there. So yeah, I love him so much. And yeah, he definitely would be. I wouldn't mind him being my Valentine at all. <laughs> what would you do on your perfect valentine's day have a nice candlelit dinner at home and then movies after chill with one another just enjoy each other's company you know crack jokes just play games or whatever red or pink lips on valentine's day oh i think oh i don't know it just depends on what you're wearing oh it depends on what kind of look you're going for for that day um if you're going for that classic sexy look then definitely red but if you're going for that sweet, dull, like innocent look, then definitely pink. Um, what is your ideal Valentine's date outfit? Um, yeah, something white and red or black and red. Um, would you wear your hair up or hair down for a date night? 
I definitely would wear my hair up in a ponytail. A nice ponytail, maybe like nice braids coming down or in a nice bun at the top. So, but definitely I would have my hair tied back. So, those are the questions. The Valentine's Day tag questions. Let me just quickly rush through the eyes and lips and then we can wrap this video up. Dokey guys, so this is my final look, guys. Um, just you know, a nice simple eye and some red lips. So, you know, something nice and sexy for Valentine's Day. And um, yes, I hope you like it. And if you do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. And um, give me a thumbs up, share, and leave me a comment down below. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you in my next one. And remember guys, beauty is only skin deep. So let's be so shallow. Bye-bye.